Eurodynamics. Why do we need this test? If a doctor needs more information about your bladder function to ensure that patient receive the correct treatment, especially if an operation is planned for incontinence or prolapse. Eurodynamics is a special test of bladder function and it helps doctors diagnose the problem. Please allow one hour for the test and the consultation following it. The test can be carried out during menstruation, your period, provided that you do not use a tampon, but we will understand if you prefer to rearrange the test for a different date. What happens before the test? You can eat and drink as usual before the test. Please stop taking tablets prescribed for your bladder 48 hours before the test unless you have been advised by your gynecologist to continue taking them during the days leading up to the test. Take any other medications as usual. If you are usually constipated please make sure you have a bowel motion the day before the test. If you have been given or fitted with a pessary for prolapse, please come along with the pessary. If you experience new urine infection symptoms, burning on passing urine, the week before your test, please see your GP for treatment. If you have a urine infection, on the day of your test it may have to be rearranged. Please do not pass urine for a couple of hours before you come to the clinic. Who will conduct the test and what does it involve? The test is usually carried out in the gynecology outpatient department. There will be a female nurse or practitioner with you all the time. She or the doctor will pass a thin tube, catheter, into your bladder in order to fill it up with fluid and another thin tube will be inserted into your back passage to measure the pressure there. There may also be a technician responsible for the setting up of the Eurodynamics machine for the test. Your privacy will be respected at all times, but unfortunately we cannot guarantee an all-female staff during this test. Feel free to ask questions. Everyone will do their best to make you feel at ease. What happens after the test? If a doctor is present, he will explain the results and give you treatment straight away. Otherwise the results will be sent to your consultant, who will arrange your next appointment. You may notice a small amount of blood in your urine, and feel a slight discomfort in your bladder for 24 hours. It is therefore a good idea to increase the amount of fluids you drink for 24 hours after the test to reduce the risk of a urine infection. This risk is minimal at around one infection for 25 people. If you are still getting bladder irritation symptoms 24 hours after the test then please contact your family doctor for advice as you may need treatment.